What's up, Grapper fans? Y'all seem to like the new look of the 24x14s and 40x1550s on the stock height F250. So if you haven't seen that video, it was a pain to get these things on, and they only fit on one side. So check that out. I explained it in my video from the other night. But it was dark by the time I got them on there, so I want to show you all this truck in the daylight, a couple different angles, try to make a little bit better video for you since y'all showed so much interest in it and honestly I just love the way it looks I wanna I wanna show it off some I mean 40s with such a low truck man it looks awesome look at how ridiculous this thing looks it's leaning by like four inches or so I mean this 40 on one side and 35 on the other it's just a crazy crazy look I'm really bummed I couldn't get them on both sides, but I think it's still a pretty entertaining, you know, look. It's something crazy you don't see every day unless you have any level lift, which, you know, this is kind of a homemade version. It only takes a few hours, you know, of swapping tires out, and you basically have any level lift. You just can't turn while you have the big tires on. No big deal. As I showed you all in the other video, it fits pretty decent in the front. Obviously, you can't turn, but about a quarter turn. But over here in the back, this thing is rubbing as soon as it flexes the tiniest little bit in this back corner right here. And it wouldn't fit at all on the other side. So I'm going to try to make it to this straight road. I'm going to have to kind of turn a little bit to get there. So we'll try to get over there, get some little rollers. Not sure how this is going to go, but we got some daylight and we got some 40s. And they're on my new truck, so I might as well try to make a video. Let me know what y'all think. Ooh, hopefully we don't get stuck in the middle of the road. Oh my god, this thing scrubs so bad. Almost making this turn though, it's pretty sick. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh fuck. Oh. Man, I keep going too far on the bumper side. I keep forgetting like how bad it hits the bumper. Hope I didn't bend the bumper out. I hate how that looks. This road's like trashed. You know what? I'm gonna stay on the straight road right here. This thing looks absolutely crazy on these 40s. What do y'all think of the look? Is it pretty solid or is it just god awful ugly? I think I could definitely live with it. Wouldn't mind having an any level lift so I could do this all the time and actually be able to drive around. But this is just crazy. I can't believe these things fit in here.
platinum on 40s. One inch leveling kit, looks crazy. 24 by 14s on here. Shout out to my little cameraman over here and the International Scout on Trail Grapplers. For those shaky videos but i hope this gave you a good idea of what it looks like when you throw 40s on a basically stock f-250 i think it looks super cool i would definitely run this setup if it was possible but i am planning on running something pretty big so y'all make sure you stay tuned as soon as i got done with the rollers with the little rc car my boy shane showed up in his jk on 35s what do y'all think of this thing he just ordered some new fenders for it Right now he's running no fenders at all with this tiny little poison spider bumper. Looks really clean. So y'all let me know with the real low and shaky rollers better or the ones on the back of Shane's Jeep. Either way, I'm excited to come out here in the daytime and show y'all this thing. I had a lot of fun swapping these tires, but it's time to put the 35s back on so I can turn until later on when I put some big ones on here again and lose my turning radius. That's just the way I like to live my life. Fun's over. We're putting the little 35s back on here. It's a good time while it lasted, but I gotta be able to go to work tomorrow. I need to be able to turn. Yeah, y'all like my 12 point socket that's welded on to this extension to yeah. work? The one that came with these broke already, so. Make sure you check out the next video, subscribe to Grappaholics, and check me out on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching.